Hey y'all, it's your girl Jess Bree coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight, I am going to do a reaction to a Kendra G video entitled Mama 3 Celebrate Until Marriage, A Christian Man Only. All right, let's get into it. Good, what's your name? My name is Tasia. You look cute, Tasia. Thank you, yes. Tasia, where are you calling us from? South Carolina. You don't have bad light, but I thought you got better light. If you turn around. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this is. See, yeah. I be, look at the difference. I've been trying to explain to y'all every night light and why y'all should have good light because you can see yourself better. That's so much better. So, Ta say your name for me, Taja. Tasia. Tasia. Tasia, South Carolina. How old are you? 29. 29. You have any kids? Yes. I have three children? children. Three children. How old are your kids? Um, two, five, and eight. Same dad? No. How many dads? Two. Two. Um, was you once married? I'm sorry. Was you once married? No. Why are you not with the two-year-old dad? Um, I was really young when we started our relationship, and the kind of the two-year-old dad. That's your last baby. Oh my two. Oh, sorry. That was my my first sweetheart, and we were just better off as friends. We still have a great relationship, but it just didn't work out in, like as an intimate couple. Okay. Can I just say, okay? Of course, you can't get into details, and and this is a dating show, and I know Kendra. You know, sometimes she digs, sometimes she doesn't. Um. I just want to say, I don't think it's a, I mean, I just, I, it's definitely, it's a red flag for the obvious reasons. But when you have a young child as young as two years old, and you're saying that the guy was a good guy, but it just didn't work out. That sends the message that um that maybe you're not a, a a good team player. You know what I mean? Like I think I feel like I hate to use the word feel, but um but I am a woman, so I do feel I feel like Kendra should press a little more on that issue just because it's just too easy. That answer is just too easy. Or at least the men, if you, you know, when you get in these situations, you really need to dig deep because to say that it just didn't work, um, he's good, he's a good guy, I'm a, you know, it just didn't work out, it's just not enough. And it just goes to show that you are not, um, you're not a, you don't, I mean, with the exception of abuse, why can't you work it out? I, you know, I don't, with the exception of abuse and the other person just not wanting to stay, I just don't think it's a valid excuse. And I feel like Kendra should pry into that just a little bit you know I know these can go on forever but I think that deserves a little prodding a little more explanation just because people are so quick to say you know I know she misheard her but they are quick to say I was young and or um you know just any old random excuse that's all and then the other two so which two are by the same guy um, my first and my last. Oh, so oh, you had a. I had a friend who did that. I ain't her friend no more, but she had um four boys, and then or three boys, and she wasn't with any of the baby daddies. I think it was all three baby dad, all three different guys, and then she went back to the first one, and had a set of twins. And I was just like, girl, I can't, uh-uh-uh. I, I, you know, I can't. Like, it, I know it's, it's not necessarily my 
um, you know, my place to judge, but, and furthermore, I would, I didn't have little kids, so I just can't relate anymore. I'm sorry. You know, my son was getting older. You starting out with newborn, you got newborns, girl, bye. And then you got to lug all these kids around. That was a total of five kids. I had one. I mean, I have two, but I have, I mean, my daughter's grown. And at the time, you know, my son, five, six, seven years old, he moving on out the way. And here it is. You got five kids, girl, bye. That's mainly why I stopped being her friend. She was, you know, she was an okay person, but I can't do all them kids. <laughs> so your eight-year-old and your two-year-old are by the same guy and the five-year-old's by somebody else. Yes. yes. And what happened with the five-year-old dad? Um, again, a young relationship. He no, was a lot older no, than me, so no. we're kind of a little controlling. It's and not. it just wasn't something that I wanted because I wanted my independence and, you know, to start my own business, and he just wasn't there for it. Okay. She wanted her own independence. You in a relationship. How are you going to be independent in a relationship? Hello? You co-parent well with both? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, one. one. Yes, okay. but no. All right, Taja, right? Taja. Tay, oh God, Taja. Taja, so what do you do? This is a mess all the way around. I cannot... Ma'am, you can sit up here and portray like you so well put together because you got this cute little outfit on and your hair done and you got, you know, you don't have a lot of makeup on, eyebrows arched. Okay, girl, I see you, but no, 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 no. I'm a freelance photographer and I just started my own printing company, which I'm trying to get off the ground. Freelance photographer yes. and printing company. What's your birthday, Zodiac? A freelance photographer and, a, and she just started a printing company? What kind of money is that going? What in the hell? How much money do that make? <laughs> I'm May 29th and I'm a Gemini. Uh-uh. Uh, don't be no Gemini like me. South Carolina. Take it back. This is Tasia, South Carolina, Gemini, 29, freelance photographer, set her own printing company, three children. What kind of yeah. man are you looking for? Um... I'm preferably looking for someone in the ages of 35 to 40, um, mature, God-fearing, um, very family-oriented. Um, I don't, well, business-oriented. Sorry, my son is at the door. Um, and just someone who has a head on their shoulders, someone who knows in which direction that they want to go in, a leader. Um, I would say, I wouldn't say I need him to be extremely wealthy, but financially independent. Um, and just driven. Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? Um, dishonesty, I would say. Um, no drive, no motivation, non-compromising. And he has to be Christian. I don't want any other religion. Okay. He has to be Christian? Yes. Have you always practiced Christianity? No. When did you start? Um, well, I started as a child, then I converted to Islam, didn't work out for me, and as an adult, I made the transition back to being a Christian. Okay. So are you following the principles right now? Like, are you not having sex to marriage? Yes, ma'am. So how long have you been celibate for? It's been about a month. <laughs> Don't judge me. I know, I know. You have to start somewhere. Girl! <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Okay, well, let me jump in with these questions, right? So, okay. again, you're here to find a guy. So, these are the questions that men tell me. Do you want? So, you're practicing Christianity. I'm assuming you want to get married, right? Yes, ma'am. So, why did you think about marriage before you had your three children? Um, because I was really young. I was 19. No, so when no, I had my first no. Child. You just had a kid two years ago. I mean, I know you just. I guess you just got reconverted, but no. This whole notion that you was young, maybe for the first child, but not number two and three. Cut it out. And those, I kind of tried to follow love and not, you know, the, the rules of the Bible or, you know, what we were supposed to do. And I just kind of got caught up in the, the freedom and just made some bad decisions. Okay, so a month ago you decided to practice celibacy and the goal is until marriage? Yes. So what do you say to the guy that says, okay, you have three children, you didn't require them to marry you, but now you want me to wait until marry you 
and you didn't give them the same requirements like some i've, I've seen this statement from men too um that was a young-minded person um i transformed my thinking transformed you know my actions because i want a different result so if i have to wait forever then i wait forever but i'm not going to make the same decisions that i made in the past that led me to where i am so what made you decide a month ago did something happen in particular to say you know what i'm going to be celibate no i've just been on a spiritual journey trying to figure it out and it just came to a point where you you know at a party point in your life you have to realize that making the same mistakes is just it hasn't been working for me so i'm trying something new and I just see my life and my, my spirit, my energy transformed since I made that decision. So just okay. what I'm going with. Okay. All right, Tasia, right? Yes. Does he have to be in South Carolina? Um listen, she can have she can have a transformation and a um, you know, a spiritual transformation and everything like that. And I respect that. But um girl. I mean, all I can say is good luck. I can't say what God going to do and what, you know, what he going to honor and what he not going to honor. Hell, she may end up better than me with three children. So. Not currently, but I would ultimately prefer him to be here so that we can, you know, do the dating process, but not necessarily. Okay, okay. Um, could he have children himself? I'm sorry? Could he have kids himself? Yes. You can have kids. Do you want more kids? Um, I don't want them, but I'm willing to compromise if this is something that, you know, goes through to marriage. Okay. Um, what role do you want to play in your, in your children's lives? Um, well, their fathers are very present in their lives. So um, if we go through with marriage, obviously he would be the head of the household. Um, but in the dating process, I really don't want him to be involved in the parenting process. I hear your babies in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy doesn't get a break. Okay. Does the guy got to look a certain way? No. Um, I would just prefer him to be taller than me, taller than 5'9". Oh, you're 5'9". Yeah. Oh, wow. She's tall. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No. No. Uh, when was your last relationship? Um, my last serious relationship was about two years ago. Two years ago. Now, I'm assuming the last time you was intimate was a month ago. Yes. Okay. Was that someone you could be serious with? Yes. Okay, so you guys still in contact? Yes. Is he okay with your new celibacy rule? Um, he had an issue with it, but we remained at friends, but that wasn't something that he was um, willing to continue on the journey with me with at this time. Okay. Okay. So this is Tasia, South Carolina, 29, freelance photographer, just started her own printing company. She has three children. Um, she will date 35 to 40, correct? Yes. Why do you think you're single? Um, I'm just, I know what I want. I've been in, in relationships and it comes to a point where you're not willing to compromise. You know, you don't want to stay in a toxic or a non-progressive relationship for too long. And I'm willing to give up rather than continue down a, a non-promising road. Okay. What's, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm independent. I'm very intelligent. I'm very business oriented. I'm a great mom, great nurse. All right, let me read the comments because that whole independent just, that turned me off. Okay. Me says, in my opinion, as a woman, if you're on a spiritual journey and it leads you down a path of celibacy, and you're only one month in, then you're probably not ready to put yourself out there to date. Thank you for saying that because I couldn't articulate it quite that well. That is the perfect statement to be made. That was the point. You brought that out perfectly. That is so true. If you just started out on your, you just started out a month in and how you out here trying to find a date, girl, bye, go sit down. Dang, Dion said, when a person is really, that's how I spell my son's middle name, minus the second N. When a person is really going to be celibate, we don't share it. Any man that comes into her life and sees this video is going to challenge her on that. Men love to call women on their BS and call their bluffs. So as soon as she meets that man, the man she likes, she won't be celibate. 
Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking too. This is so annoying when women do this because us women who've been on this journey for years make it look like we're lying. She's too concerned with appearing a certain way. Celibacy has a larger meaning other than sex. That's just the bare minimum. I mean, full disclosure, I haven't had sex in three years. But nobody's believes that, and I don't give a shit. I don't care. I know one thing. The last time I did, three years ago, I had been celibate at least two years prior to that. So when the actual deed happened, he knew I wasn't lying. Let's just say that. <laughs> you gonna know if she's celibate or not. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could be a virgin again, but <laughs> it's tight, but it's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I damn near fell out my chair when she said 30 days. All I hear is Kevin saying you can't make this shit up. Latoya Raquel said it's okay to sit in solitude for a minute. I mean, yeah, I think she would have been more believable had it been, I mean, three months even. Hot damn. Three months, six months, girl. She said 30 days. <laughs> it's okay to be in solitude for a minute. Got three kids, a new spiritual path, a new business. Let the dust settle. What's for you will not miss you. Amen, Sister Latoya. I agree. D. Jones, the 21, women always like to hype each other decisions up and be like, it's never too late to start over. She just learned what's right for her. Yeah, all that's great if she wasn't looking for a man and planned on being alone. We keep trying to tell y'all no man is going to look past your mistakes and be a celibate and be celibate along with you after you had three kids. That's your journey, not his. Edit. And she's only been celibate in a month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's her journey. And... I mean, she's already committed to being alone forever. Hell, if 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 she can't find that guy, you know. But that's a lot to ask. You want a man to come into your life with three children, you and your Miss Independence, <laughs> your um freelance photographer, and which I don't know how much that makes, girl boo, Renee. <laughs> Renee T says she could claim young at 19 and one child, but two others follow. And then the youngest by the first man, she said, wasn't a real option. It, yeah, she went back to the one that she said wasn't an option. So again, like I said, you can work it out with the first one, yet you went back and had another baby. Girl, bye. Spiritual journey or not. Where is, I mean, the requirement for marriage is like, it's non-existent. One in four women will be ma black women will get married. This is insanity. And I'm yelling at myself too. Because I did some dumb shit too. I'm 43 and never been married. How about that? <laughs> Lord, it's like these women are set on the factory default settings. Kendra, why aren't you with the two-year-old's dad? Tasia, um, well, I was really young. Kendra, you're t you were too young when you got pregnant two years ago. <laughs> it's like a secret script they all rehearse. Also, Tasia, I've been celibate for a month, flip flop religions, and three children under ten by two different men. Well, and then when you was Islam or Muslim, you definitely should have got married. <laughs> Um, same, same comment. Three kids, two baby daddies, celebrate for a month. <laughs> Damn but Tony, it doesn't take a mathematician to see that she couldn't been, she couldn't have been 19 when having her first child if the kids are seven, five, and two. That wouldn't be possible if she's currently 29. 29 minus seven, she would have been 22. Child, you know they lie like a rug, child. Let's see what Tony looks like. Tony looking kind of kind of blow him up. I was just being nosy. I want to see what Tony looked like, y'all. 
Hey, Tony, how you doing? Okay, back to... All right, get back, get back, get back. What's your name? Oh, wait, sorry. My name. Let me make sure this damn thing didn't cut off. I was always talking about my damn storage. All right, we had 20 minutes on this one. I just want to read a few more female comments, I guess. I don't know, a little bit of both. Let's see. Long Beach Mamba said, the first baby daddy got it, the second baby daddy got it, and then the first baby daddy got it again. And now she's celibate for 30 days and wants the next man to view her as a prize and waiting until marriage to sleep with her. Absolutely unbelievable. JP Productions, there's no way all of them can have the same story and outcome and think it isn't their fault. Alina says, she's joking, right? I hope she return. I hope she turns that month into a couple of years for healing purposes. Antasia Shaw, I don't know, but the waiting for marriage after you had three kids is crazy. And, you know, so here's the thing. These women, and I don't know how many of the three children are girls. I mean, and I, I know boys get molested as well. And, you know, my mother, she took a chance marrying a man when I was a baby. He wiped her up when I was a baby, and he had a daughter that was seven years old. And he raised me. And, you know, thinking about it now, I mean, like, you know, people say that's when stepfathers had respect because, first of all, I didn't know he wasn't my real father. And second of all, my mother never interfered with his discipline. So I can't imagine three young kids running around and this man, this, this, this husband of hers slash stepfather, you know, he's, he's got to be, I mean, he's going to be the man of the house and then trying to discipline children that aren't his with fathers that are involved. That's, that's a mess. I honestly don't know the kind of men that would sign up for that. And I, I mean, I say that knowing good and well that stepfathers exist everywhere. Like men wife women up all the time and become stepdaddies. But I just would like to hear from some of the guys who deal with that. We need a we need a, a, a call in show where men just tell their stories about their experiences as a stepfather because I am curious as hell to know how, you know, people deal with step parents um in my situation my father my mother husband that raised me he could never because he was way too alpha and he wasn't with no shit and you wasn't running up in his house telling him who what where or why um so he could never he could never you know be that guy um, although he was that guy, you know, he just, the man couldn't be involved. And that's the decision, you know, that was made all around, all across the board. My birth father, he, long story short, he, you know, he had his own thing going on. Um, and he knew that It was a lot. He had a lot going on. So he knew that he had no business trying to be involved with me at the time. And it was for the best because my mother husband would have whipped his ass. Okay. And I'm saying that about my birth father. My mother husband would have kicked his ass. You know, especially all the empty promises and the, and the, the promises and the this and the that. No, 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 no. Anyway, um... I mean, my son had a stepmother for a period of time. And I mean, it was cool on both sides. 
because she had a kid who was the same age as our son. Even though her kid lived with his father and my son lived with me, so they really didn't have the kids. That's a whole other story, child. Anyway. Um, and then when my sister got married, her, um, her daughter's father wasn't involved. So, you know, that wasn't a, a big issue. I don't really know people. I can't think off the top of my head with people with step parents that I really, you know, have to deal with, a, a you know, the, the biological father and the stepfather. And there's plenty of cases where it works out perfectly fine. So, anyway, um, we are at 26 minutes. So let me just read a couple more and we'll make it an even 30, 30, 30, 30. Um, when you're three kids deep, I think it's hard to turn celibate and then try to find someone who will commit to you. The chances of that are extremely low. Your womb is almost is already carried to other men's feet. Her entire conversation is built on sound bites. She heard from other single women all the same. I was young. I'm celibate now. I was in a toxic relationship. Yeah, it's like the the I don't know what you call it. It's like the what's the word? It's like the playbook or whatever you want to call it. It's like they reading from the damn hymn book. Um, I was really young. I was 19. I tried to follow love and not the rules of the Bible. <laughs> um, freelance photographer. Translation. She lives out child support. I'm surprised um, Kendra didn't even... She didn't... I'm surprised she didn't catch, catch that or she caught it, but she let it go because she a woman. You know, because had it been a man, it would have been like freelance photographer. We all know what that means. <laughs> right, that she broke. Our shell, John said, you need to be trying to get at it. <laughs> and again, I say, I said that, you know, listen. God can do all things. You know, she is totally committed. And, you know, and the Lord has the last say. So, and that's just my personal belief. But I get what everybody else is saying, and I agree. You know, our bad choices are going to follow us. You know, regardless, because we have to pay a price. We're going to pay a price. And maybe she won't get married until she turn, until she's 50. You know? Because I can't sit up here and say it'll never happen. But, I, I like I said, I agree with what most everybody is saying. On the block with Jen. Lord have mercy. Christian Tasia having more sex than me out of wedlock and I'm atheist. Oh boy. Let me just read this one response. At least she's not foolish enough to not believe in the creator. Meanwhile, you're on the way like a fire. Okay. Moving on. That um, on the block with Jen is something else. Everyone matures and grows. I hope everything works out for her. She is pretty and presents well. <laughs> Here we go with another celibate 304. Never married, but she's Mother Teresa now. You can keep those stale cookies locked in a jar. Molded cookies are always free. Rain 2002. It's going to be hard to find what she wants, but not impossible if she's really looking for a guy if you're a man. She's trying to make better decisions. Let me get this straight. She also wants to be married, religious, but also independent. Exactly. Doesn't want to be controlled and doesn't follow the rules of the Bible. You don't get sex, but she gave it to her past men. Wants a 35-year-old family man that either left 
his or doesn't have one. And, you know, that's an excellent point because at the ages that she's requesting, they either have children or they don't. And a single man with no kids, I highly doubt is going to sign up for that. And a man that has more than likely, he's going to have multiple children. She's going to attract, which means by the time you combine all of that, it's going to be anywhere from, you know, three to five, three to five kids, three to six kids. And um, it's just, it's just a lot. I mean, people do it all the time, but. It's just a, it's a lot, especially shit, cause I'm at an age now I ain't chapel. I am done and done with that life. So good luck to her though. When you say you're celibate after dropping kids and waiting until marriage, just try to, just trying to secure the bag. No disrespect, freelance photography is a simple hobby. It's a hobby. Any man that takes her on is taking shit. No, they'll be providing for four people, five if you count the man. Not to mention, she says something else about, damn, what was I going to say? That's so true, though. Freelance photography, what the hell is that? That's something I was going to say. She said something. I don't know. Probably comes to me after. Um, the funny part to me was when, when she was with a dude up to a month ago that hit, and then she she then tells him she's going celibate. And homeboy is like, "Man, I'm a joke to you." It's weird to me because you already saw this man as a potential candidate. And you already gave him the cookie. The only thing you can protect yourself from is actual pregnancy. And you don't have to stop sex to prevent that. This really isn't about doing the right thing. It's claiming power over whatever relationship you're in. I just find all the rules and checklist women play some in to be funny until some come their way. That is, that's an excellent point. <laughs> This is such an excellent point. It's about power over the relationship. Because you didn't you had sex a month ago, claim he was a a a, a good candidate or a good guy, and now y'all just friends. Why the hell you didn't make him wait? Girl, if the red flags wasn't the red flags, Joe. Three babies under 10. Two baby daddies. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. How you raise the standards while your value gets lower? Hello. Kendra be blaming some of her questions she has personally on the audience. It's okay. What? They ask. That's what the men say. Free game. Seriously? I should respond to this because you are ridiculous. Those are real questions that men have presented, whether it's in the comment section or in the red pill sector. What are you talking about? She's not a fucking man. Kendra used to be so... Up until recently... When her, she started to realize the shit that Kevin was saying, she wasn't trying to hold nobody accountable. She wasn't asking them questions. Are you kidding me? Girl, shut up. Y'all just so, I I don't understand how you want to be with a man yet. If he tells you something, or if enough of them say it, you know, you still act like 
it don't matter. And like Kendra said before, who are you trying to date? A woman? Don't you want to know what men want? What men want? The hell? All right, y'all. On that note, this is a wrap. I didn't went five minutes over, child. That's enough. My voice is starting to, you know, stretch. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. And on that note, we're going to fade to black. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, girl. Bye, honey.